Welcome to another Spreadsheeters video guide. You can find written instructions for these steps on the Spreadsheeters website. In this video, we'll see how to unconcatenate in Excel. The term unconcatenate refers to separating out text that is in a cell or in a column. There are many occasions where you will need to separate out text that is in a column. This happens very frequently when you're working on data that has been imported from another application, such as another database. The way that the columns of the data has been arranged may not be exactly the way you need it, and you may need it to be more granular and so have to separate out the data in a column. In this example, we have a list of branch codes with the name. I want to separate out the branch code from the name and make it into two separate columns so that it's easier for me to analyze the data. Excel has a very useful tool called Convert Text to Columns and uh, we will see how that works. So I'll select the data. Under the data menu, go to text to columns and click on this. This opens a wizard. So there are two ways, uh, there are two types of data. One is delimited or fixed width. In this case, we do have a delimiter, which is the hyphen. That is what is separating the two pieces of text. But in uh, this particular case, we could also use fixed width because the branch code itself is uh, only three characters so that has a fixed width but in this since i'm also want to separate out the uh, name of the column i will choose delimited then i say yeah, next now this has a list of uh, delimiters the hyphen is not there so i click other and type a hyphen as soon as i do that you could see in the data preview that the branch code and the name have been separated out so this gives me a way to check that uh, this looks correct and that looks fine so I'll say next then I have to select the format since this is just uh, text uh, data I'm going to leave the data format as general and I'm going to paste it in the same place so the destination uh, cell A1 remains as is and then I say finish so when this is done I can see that based on the hyphen the data has been separated or it has been unconcatenated or unjoined and separated out into columns this is how to unconcatenate in Excel. Please read the appended article for further guidance.